All right, so today we're going to be talking about where to put your money, and this is my advice to anyone. So the first place you're going to want to put your money is in high interest debts, which is any debt that's over about 5% in an interest rate. So things below 5%, such as a student debt or a mortgage with a low rate, those are fine to have open because the money that you can make elsewhere will balance out that interest payment and the principal amount will feel as if it's eroded by inflation over time. So the second place, have credit and insurance. An open line of credit of at least one to three months is going to allow you to cover any unforeseen expenses that your normal income won't cover. And if you're just starting out building credit, open a no annuals feed secured card, such as the Discover It card. And then to prevent big expenses, you have to insure yourself. So with this, you want to never hold a balance or miss a payment if you can avoid it. And this line of credit is just there to hold you over while you arrange other sources of income, such as liquidating a small portion of stock or waiting for a paycheck, etc. So then the next place, you're going to take advantage of any free matching programs for employees. So this is like 401k matching or Roth matching. You want to completely max that out. Don't worry about not having that money until you retire. You can always borrow against those accounts, which many people don't take advantage of. But definitely max those out. And then if there's any employee stock purchase programs where they match something or they offer you a discount rate, like my company does 15% discount of either the start of the offering period or the end of the offering period, which makes it essentially a savings account that gives me a free 15%. So even if your company is going downhill, you can sell at the end of the period and immediately take that profit and put the money elsewhere. And any other matching such as insurance or anything where your company pays some portion of the cost want to take advantage of those. Then you want to go on to personal stock investments. So this is your new form of savings with this knowledge because liquidating stocks isn't something you want to do as a routine, but it's better than having the money idle because you didn't know if you would need it or not. So with this, invest according to your risk tolerance. If you don't need the money to invest, then you might want to put it in a long-term holding. And if you might need the money soon for like a house purchase, then invest in stable companies that are usually marked by dividend returns. You also want to learn the tax laws to help reap losses to balance out capital gains that are hopefully long-term. And that makes it less expensive to move money around. And then the final least important place is on big purchases. So if you built up a, a large sum of cash, then you might want to tap into the credit that you have, put a down purchase on a home, and this is a great way to open up access to an appreciating asset that you otherwise couldn't afford. So make sure to shop around and time your purchase, and make sure your purchases are trying to save you money in the long run, such as an EV for cutting out gas costs, installing solar panels, or buying a house that's rentable so you can make income later, or at the very least, you save yourself from rising rent costs. So that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching.